Hello and welcome. In this brief video, we will show how to program a system using SPC Connect Pro. This is intended for customers who have not previously used the SPC web page interface and may not be familiar with its operation. To start, this is SPC Pro. It has been the programming tool of SPC for a number of years, and it has provided support up to SPC 3.7. When you're logged in, you are met with a list of installations with their panel type and their IP address. When you're connected to this interface, you have to program SPC panels and view the status. Now, the interface on this tool was very different to the interface used on the SPC panel web page, and we've noticed that the SPC panel web page has become far more common for people to use. So what we are attempting to do is to harmonize these interfaces so you have more commonality between the interfaces. What I'm going to show you is the differences between SPC Pro and SPC Connect Pro. And just to get you started, go through where you will find some of the common features that you may be using. To start, I will now load the new SPC Connect Pro. I have logged into the system and I select local panels. This is to replicate the same list of panels you would have had on SPC Pro. And you can see the versions and the types and the similar information. When you logged into SPC Pro previously, you had a common interface when you're offline or online. However, none of the online functionality worked. For example, view system log or access log. And this was to have it common in the tool. Um, we're trying to do something different now, where we will actually have a slightly different interface, whether you're online or offline. I'll show you that in a second. So for our first step, what I'm going to do is show you how to add a user and edit a user in both systems. So I'm going to go to SPC Pro. I'm going to select users. I'm going to show you the user menus and then I'm going to go to the equivalent menu in SPC Connect Pro. So in SPC Pro, we would have gone to general and we would have selected setup users. And from here, we can configure users, user profiles, SMS and added users. So all the fields that you're familiar with have been replicated and have always existed on the SPC panels web page. So when you use SPC Connect Pro, you're using the same interface. So on SPC Connect Pro <coughs> and the SPC web page, I can select users and I can add a user and I have all the same options that were available on SPC Pro. In fact, there are more options available here. If you're enrolling PACE or FOBs, they will automatically appear here as unknown PACE or unknown FOBs. And in the new SPC Connect Pro tool, we have the same interface. It's the same users page with the same options. And all the user functionality is the exact same in both systems. None of the operation changes. For the next, I'm going to look at how to configure inputs and outputs now. So on SPC Pro, we select Panel Settings, Controller, Inputs and Outputs. And we have a list of the controller inputs and we can select it and edit the options, the name and the type. In the SPC Connect Pro and SPC web page, we select Configuration and now we can see the controller inputs. We can change the type, description and attributes. Outputs. And the equivalent outputs menu 
on the web page is visible, but there is also an additional screen which shows you all the outputs on the entire system. Next, I will show how to configure devices. In SP Pro, we select expanders and keypads, and here we can configure expanders, keypads, and door controllers. On SPC Panel's webpage and SPC Connect Pro, we select hardware and Xbus. We then can configure expanders, keypads, and door controllers. All the same options exist, and there are, in fact, I believe now more options in 385 that would have been available on SPC Pro 371. In terms of general settings, area options, things of this nature, these were set in system settings. Again, in configuration, there is an option called system. Here you will find all the options, system timers, identification, and standard settings. The final topic I would like to show is communications. In SPC Pro, you could see the communications on the communications tab and you can configure all the settings. Now, like everything I've said, all the settings are available in the web page as well. Uh, the tab configuration is slightly different. The one thing I would like to mention on Flexi is that in the web page under status, there is far more detail about what is actually happening, debug information and log information that is not available in SPC Pro. So for communication, all the Flexi can be configured under the Flexi menu. Analog arcs are configured under reporting, analog arc, and from here an analog arc can be added. So this concludes my brief run through of SPC Connect at Pro and how to migrate from SPC Pro. Thank you for watching and goodbye.